thank y'all so much for watching okay so much because without y'all you know i just be talking to myself which i'm doing right now but you know y'all 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 get it what's up with y'all and welcome back to my channel i'm jaya but you can call me holly J. and today we are doing a little quick little like little life update chit chat get ready with me video um i got some new things happening right now in life so i've already done my eyebrows um y'all let me know if you want an eyebrow tutorial because i never do my eyebrows on camera because who got time for all that but yeah just let me know so y'all so okay let me just get started because i don't want this to be long at all i just want to kind of like talk to y'all let y'all know what's going on because you're going to be seeing a little bit of like a little like you're going to be seeing some different stuff so yeah it's going to be you're going to see some new things because um i'm temporarily moving in with my boyfriend and i don't know why like telling all that and like saying that out loud gives me anxiety i'm a very private person when it comes to my relationship because my relationship has not been a traditional relationship um since we left high school so i kind of keep things on the hush hush when it comes to my relationship but this is like a big move um it's not permanent or anything like that but we're just trying to like elevate, you know? And um, it just, it's just, let me back up. I'm temporarily moving in with my boyfriend. Wow, I just said that again, out loud on camera, telling y'all that. This is big for me. Okay, I had to tell y'all because um, my background's gonna be different, all that, so you're gonna like obviously notice something different happened. But this came about from the simple fact that, like I said, you guys, I've been working from home since March. And they said we would be back September. Then they said we would be back January. And then they pushed it back to June. So when I heard that, I was like, okay, I got some time. Okay, so um, with that being said, like I was trying to say, so basically, I have been, you know, talking to God and manifesting which I'm gonna get into that a little later but I just had this feeling kind of come over me and it just felt like God was telling me to move and when God tell you to move you like should move because I'm kind of like I said private or just kind of like conservative as far as when it comes to um you know moving in with your boyfriend and all that like stuff like that I'm not like the most eager person to do something like that um but as y'all know i have been going back and forth to his apartment and with that i've been kind of finding comfort in you know letting go of whatever i have going on in my mind that tells me like no it shouldn't you know I'm gonna, like i've gotten kind of more open to like spending more time with him and like sharing a space and like taking our relationship to that level because like I said, I have not been in a traditional relationship for the majority of my relationship. By the way, I did mention I'm doing my no foundation routine, right? So what I'm putting now, I'm going to, I contour first when I do that. So I'm using a foundation, the matte fit me poreless um, foundation. What color is this? 360 mocha. And I'm about to just like go in like contour. Yeah, so like with this time, you know, I've just become a little bit more comfortable with that idea, and I and and it kind of showed me like, dang, like we really could like make stuff happen. Like we're better together, you know, to try to like elevate our lives. And we're just getting older. Like I'm 23, and I'm starting to just kind of like think like that when it comes to my relationship because, you know, I kind of kept it. It's not that I'm not committed in my relationship. It's just that. You know, I'm not thinking about the like what I would consider 
even more serious steps because for one the the, the opportunities never present themselves um i live in one place he lives in one place and those places work best for us right now but spending this time and everything and just talking about like who the people we want to be the things we want to accomplish it's like okay like let me come like i should be here you know like i have the luxury of this time um due to corrupt to to the vid um uh, and it was like and that's why i said it felt like god said move and i was just like okay like let me move you know like let's do this because we both want to elevate we want things and it's like you know we sometimes we're like feeling like we're banging our head against a wall each one of us in our own like personal journeys and i feel like coming together we could help each other in that way because we already want to see each other win like we're already in a committed relationship like we already in these things but the opportunities never presented us to be able to like live and grow together so basically that's what is taking place i am going to kind of just take advantage of this time and we just pour into each other and we just work and we just keep at our goals and i have some strengths that he can benefit from he has strengths that i can benefit from so that's basically what's going on you know so i saw that to say because like it'll be a different setup um we won't be here um and i just wanted to preface that and kind of give y'all that update so um yeah look forward to that coming so now i'm going to put my tart foundation i mean my tarte concealer in the number 11 this is not tarte now i'm going to put my juvia's place number 11 um concealer under my eyes and so i've done the contour mildly and then i go in with the concealer i really have been really loving the way my makeup was coming out when i was doing my um when I was doing this routine, like no foundation, just like everything else, I was really loving my makeup. So I thought I'd do it in this one. Change it up a little bit, you know? Put y'all on. Um, I'm taking heed to Sarah, who loves Jackie Ina. Um, and I've been also letting my concealer sit a little bit before I blend it. I kind of put this on really messy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that's one new update. Um, and like I was so I like I was kind of talking to y'all about is yeah, like I just felt like God told me to move. Like my boyfriend expressed some things to me, and then I had already been praying, and then I was already feeling away, and then like it all just was like god are you talking to me like is this what i'm supposed to do like is this the next um but yes yeah, like i have been manifesting a lot lately and i used like i was i used to be really better at it when i was running my um like girl and women's empowerment brand the it gal like i would write things down you know pray over them because i would try i was trying to grow something you know i was trying to make something happen and when you're in that space you just are you're kind of already in that space and you're already kind of asking God for things because you're working towards something. So whenever that died down and then I got my job and everything and that was cool and it was and that's amazing and everything. Like as now that I've been really putting a lot of energy into my YouTube journey and really want to make it something for myself, I just was like god gotta be involved. Like God gotta be involved. Like yes, I pray, you know, I pray, but there was a time where me and God was like this, you know, and it showed in my life, it showed in my confidence, it showed in everything. So whenever whenever you start like feeling stress, like I was definitely feeling a lot of stress coming my way and anxiety and just a lot of negative feelings were kind of coming up, like coming over me. And a lot has like been shown to me this year, by the way. So just like all those things in combination, I was just like, I'm missing God. Like, yes, I pray and stuff, but I'm not doing my devotionals like I used to. I'm not writing my prayer journal like I was. Like, I'm not writing down the things I want out this life and like saying them out loud and manifesting. So 
I went and bought me a journal. Hold on, here my journal, right? And got me a journal. And I was like, we need to like write these things down and we need to be, you know, saying it out loud and believing it and knowing that it can happen because with God, it can. So I just been manifesting y'all like big time. And here's one like tip I'd say for manifesting is, and you know, um, this is for my people of faith too. I feel like it's easier to believe your manifestation, the things you want to manifest, if you are um, actively working on your relationship with God because you're building your faith first. And manifesting and praying, you know, they kind of are simultaneous. They kind of have the same idea, you know? Because manifesting wants you to believe. So you have to believe the things you're saying but it's easier to believe in things when you have faith so if you're talking to god and god is just like you know reassuring you and just y'all relationship is just becoming stronger and stronger your faith is growing so when you start to say that you're going to be this person and you're going to do these things in your manifestation girl you believe it because i already talked to god about it you know what i'm saying so that's where i'm at in life right now i really hope y'all feeling what i'm saying because i just i just feel so much better like i really struggle with anxiety and i'm trying to hold myself accountable with youtube and stuff and like sometimes i do fall short and you know i beat myself up about it and it's like you know you gotta you gotta have god to kind of keep keep you keep you above like it's so important to stay above like vibrate high it really is i'm just gonna go in with my um black radiance true complexion contour palette medium to dark i like to kind of like mix these two like heavy on the brown but then like kind of buff it out with that lighter color because i don't want to i don't like too harsh of a contour and i just go in this like emotion Feel it in my body, my body. You got it bad for me. Yeah. Okay. okay, and so now I'm going to put my setting powder in under my eyes and on my eyes. Y'all, I really want to perfect a brown, like, smoky eye. Um, Miss Jazz, the makeup artist, I think she's, like, located in Atlanta. She does, like, JT's makeup here and there, Carisha. Like, she does, like, you know, um, artist makeup and models and things like that makeup from time to time um, in Atlanta. And she does this really beautiful, like, just really soft, pretty, brown, chocolate, smoky eye. And I want to try to master it. That's going to be one of my next little adventures that I might take y'all with me on. Trying to, like, recreate one of her looks or something. Like, I'm going to put some pictures on here so you can see what I'm talking about. Because I just think that's so pretty. And I actually did it a little bit in my unpopular opinions video if you look at my lids you can kind of tell like i did do a little bit of a smoky like brown thing you know so i just want to like perfect it i think it was pretty decent i don't think it's much to it but um i just want to make i just want to like make it a staple maybe for like my my soft glam look you know because normally i i really don't do eyeshadow anymore to be honest like i just kind of put a flesh tone color in on top of my lids and in the crease and everything and just call it a day so i'm gonna let that sit i just realized i didn't really put any um concealer on my nose and uh y'all can see i got these three dots on my freaking nose because i think i can squeeze my blackheads when they have extractors for that and like strips for that i'm gonna just go get me some y'all okay this will be the last time my mom She's so fed up with me. She's just like, you always picking at yourself. Like, stop. Like, 
you know, I'm her child. You know, I came from her. Like, I'm her creation. And it's like, when she looks at her creation, she wants to see what she would like to see. <laughs> Low key, though. Like, for real, though. My mama, like, she gets upset. Like, don't be messing with my child. You know what I'm saying? Like, my child. Why are you messing with my child's nose? As if I'm not the child. You know? It's crazy. Y'all, um, Justin LA boy that uh Instagram page. I know y'all know of it. Like, I know y'all know of it. If you having all the memes, yo, he had one that was like every twenty everybody had me effed up in 2020. And when I tell you I feel that, I feel that. <laughs> Cause what the heck? It's so much junk that I would have never in a million years have thought to come from and happen to me with certain people and all that, like, crazy. So I'm just gonna kind of warm this little contour up. Cause like, now that I have my um, powder on, I can kind of really see like what we working with. So I'm just gonna build it up some more. A little. I'm going to take more so my sculpt color and wipe away the translucent powder like i hope y'all can see how like pretty like why i like my no um like, can y'all kind of see what I like the no foundation routine? I'll take pics, but hopefully you can kind of see why I like this. Okay. So, next is to put some color on the eyes and prep these lashes. just feel like you just like like you can't be everything for everyone you know I've really been struggling with that this year because I'm seeing it firsthand how putting yourself first and being focused and being like committed to your goal and like you know just like like really putting in the work that it's gonna take to get what you want out of something like i've seen it in in other ways yes but like like this time around i'm really seeing like firsthand like how people take things personal kind of on a journey you know or like just trying to like be consistent be focused be be committed be devoted to your dream and your like everything will tell you that that's what it takes to get to where you want to be and like you know, you think that people know that and recognize and understand that, but instead people take things personal. I just been kind of dealing with the like the thought like I cannot be everything for everyone. Like I can't. I just cannot. Nature, the nature of my personality, I want to. Don't get me wrong, like I just I love being there for people that I love, you know, like I love being able to make them smile. I love if they love them, they love my company. You know, like I love those things, but like I can't be everything for everyone. Like, what about me? Like, I really be feeling like what that, like the saying, like you can't pour from an empty cup. And, and like I say, like it is such a compliment and so flattering that people, you know, value my company, my my advice, my my um my presence, my energy, like whatever it is, you know, like I like my my talents. It's such a compliment. It's very flattering to know that, you know. But I just kind of wish that the people who do feel that way about me and everything, like, just recognize what is happening and kind of just like transform that energy into like like redirect that energy into just supporting me 
like just recognize that I'm on a mission like I'm on a mission 20s is the time to get it done like I don't have time like I don't want to have time to BS you know I'm trying to make something happen for myself as soon as possible so that I can get closer to just chilling you know like chilling vibing with everybody chilling vibing with everybody you know like I'm trying to get there so just like redirect that energy into just supporting in turn of that recognize what's going on and then just pour your energy into supporting and 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 asking and checking in and and make may, maybe make the conversation about those things because obviously that's what the world I'm living in you know like if you want to be a part like show that you're interested in what I have going on you know yeah I just been feeling like I can't be everything for everybody and that goes for like my boyfriend that goes for family that goes for friends like I just been feeling pulled and tugged in a lot of directions sometimes not all the time but sometimes you know people want things for me there's things that people want for me there's things that I can offer to people and I am a resource tap the freak in tap in but just respect what's going on and and what I have going on you know I wonder like have y'all ever felt that way like you just can't be everything for everyone and if you are and you felt that way girl I feel how you feel it is it you do feel guilt putting yourself first but you can also see some true colors when you put yourself first and you won't feel bad anymore so you know peep the scene so like just as much as people are taking it personally and peeping the scene with you peep the scene with them because it shouldn't be personal you know what i'm saying but by the way like i'm a taurus so i really just say say it like it is like i really do but i really don't have no issues with no one like this year just showed me where I stand with everybody. But I'm not in no negative spaces with no one. I just know where I stand with everyone. No negative spaces with anyone, but I just know where I stand with everyone. Sure is some of y'all that's that type of friend, that type of family member for your family too. And I'm definitely one of them. I'm definitely one of those people. But one thing about me is I know how to have boundaries. And that's when people take things personal. And so I'm just going to go back into this palette, mix these two up again, and dust this off. I like to do this in like a circular motion, going like up, because it goes into the contour, you know, but also kind of like flushes the face, because we're still like blending the carved out part. If that makes sense, you know, I'm no makeup artist, so what I think is happening when I do that. So I go in with this Too Faced Cherry Bomb Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo. I had got this from Ew, y'all saw that on there? I had got this from um like Marshalls. So I don't know if it was like worldly known or anything. You know what goes in Marshalls sometimes it's like duds like never sold well or something I do like this because i picked this up when i was on the hunt for dang, I'm not, okay when i was on the hunt for a blush and i found this and i do kind of like to just dab it in the middle because the sparkles is pretty too but i'm not like big on highlight like that anymore but the two together is pretty. So that's pretty much for the face. I'm going to put on my lip and then we'll like get into the hair in a second. Okay, so I just put on this little slip dress that I got from Shein for my little trip that's coming up. But it's actually way too short. So 
it's a beautiful color though so i'm probably just gonna take some pictures in it because my hair is done and my makeup is done so why not thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all in my next one